Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Green Game Time Swapper. It's part of my Steam Cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library, eventually then arbitrarily rate and or review them after just leave it a playtime. I don't know anything about this game except it has green in the title. I do like the jazzy music going on right now. I like it. It's got a little, little tempo, a little style to it, and I do like gears. So let's hit play and see what we got here. I've got a pixely bird. Blackbird bird. Quitting time, pulling the levers. Oh, a little, little creepy there. Oh no, don't hurt the bird. What? What are you doing? What? One, one percent? I don't know what I, what? Now I'm little, now I'm big. Now I'm, what? Okay. One. Click and drag horizontally to manipulate time. The green spotlight recognizes what time frame I'm in. I, I don't quite get the mechanic yet. The steam will change the direction of your flight. Okay. Okay, so it's a puzzle game. This bird's gonna fly no matter what I do, and I need to direct that bird to get the things. Okay. Alright, let's layer on some more mechanics there, game. Alright, this way. Wait for it. No, didn't wait long enough. So there's some, it'd be nice if they had some uh, sticky points where like you could just get to it without having to um, pan across the different ones. Oh, no. I did it too early. I have to pass this one. Get this. Oh no! All right, we'll we'll keep going. All right, some of these are always going. We're good. Got our mad trips there. Got myself an achievement. Huh. Oh, oh, well, no. My mouse went off the uh, edge of the screen. Okay, so another mechanic there. Alright, one death, I'll take it. I'm 
the... Can I use the controller for this? Nope. It's <laughs> I can use controller. Okay, I can use the controller. I did that wrong. It's okay though. I think the controller is easier, <laughs> or at least less uh, stress on my hands. Good use of parallax. That'll land it right. There we go. Nice if you had a little fast forward for this. Some of these ones are just long gaps in between. Did I aim it right? I think we're pretty good. Alright, alright. One death there. I also like to be able to zoom out a little bit to see the whole level just to plan it. Manipulate time to crumple select walls. Okay. Oops, too soon. Yeah, this is where I want to say like fast forward or something. It is a time-based game, so there should be... Oh, no, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the volume. But like I said, it sure would be nice to be able to fast forward here and skip ahead to where we left off. Alright. We did it! Do a couple more. I always struggle with these uh, puzzle games to know just how much I should. Uh, let's go up. So no new mechanics yet. Difficulty really hasn't ramped up. Let's go to the menu here. Alright, I like the menu flow. That's that's pretty slick. Let's get the mouse, go back. Options? No. Hmm. Let's do one more. See if they got any mechanics for me. Alright. 
All right, all right. Nope. All right, doesn't like there's any new mechanics yet, but they have they added a few in, like the boxes and stuff like that. So there's probably more to it. Um, overall, I think this is a pretty decent puzzle game. I would like them to add more uh, quality of life stuff, like the ability to fast forward and the. Um, uh, stopping points so like you can click it into to where it is but I guess with the rotating ones that don't that are always running I guess that wouldn't make as much sense um, but yeah overall I, I think it's a well-designed package the art style works really well the music's good um, yeah it's pretty solid this has been oh no what's the name menu this has been something green green game time swapper cheers <laughs>